Good afternoon, everyone. State Senator Eric Berthel coming to you from outside your state capitol. Today is January 26th, 2003. Today we were in for a regular session day to discuss um, some important things like uh, executive nominations and commissioners and, uh, and judges. Uh, but more important than that is we just completed a vote on a resolution to accept the new contract between the state of Connecticut and the Connecticut State Police Union. Our Connecticut State Police force, if you will, is such an incredible and important part of the safety net in the state of Connecticut. These are the men and women that make a deliberate and knowingly conscious decision to pursue careers in law enforcement, who get up and put on a bulletproof vest every day as part of their uniform to protect and serve all of us, whether you're an employer, an employee, a retiree, a student, whoever you are, the people, the visitors, the guests that come in and out of our state and live here. I was proud to support this uh, contract today for a number of important reasons. First of all, it provides some necessary wage adjustments. Part of the issue right now in response to the police accountability bill that we passed here in 2020, which all Republicans voted against, is there is a recruitment issue, not only at the state police level, but also in local towns and cities across Connecticut. This bill and the the tenants of the bill will allow the Connecticut State Police to hopefully attract uh, more officers to come and work in our uh, great police force. Uh, the bill does have some cost associated with, with it, but I'm a firm believer that for the right reason, at the right moment in time, uh, it does sometimes take money to uh, bring uh, good talent to the table and to protect us from uh, all of the ills of, of, uh, of society. So um, this bill has just passed the Senate, it passed the House, it will go on to the governor's desk for signature. And again, uh, I'm proud to support the men and women of the Connecticut State Police and this contract, which will hopefully allow them to rebuild their force to the right levels and to continue to do the very honorable work that they do in keeping us safe. Stay tuned, this is my second update for a very long session. Please follow me on my website at senatorberthel.com and of course, email or call the office if you should have any concerns or questions. Talk to you soon.